I know how to do that now. Hello, Christine. T. Okay, I'm doing two things uh, today. I am, um, number one, going to give everybody an update on my husband. He is back to being a brat again. He's doing pretty good. Um, maybe I should say ornery self. But he's still, you know, got a ways to go. But I, I can see him bouncing back, you know, from the trauma he was under, you know, last month. So we're doing everything we're supposed to be doing, only we kind of cheated yesterday. And he knew I was going to my mom's to check and see her. And he asked my daughter to stop at, well, he asked me, didn't you? to stop and get him some Chinese. Well, he hadn't had Chinese like a month or two before we he even got sick. So, we stopped and got him Chinese. I don't know about him, but I paid for it because as soon as I ate it, about an hour later, I started feeling real tired and sluggy from all that sodium in them sauces and, and it, it just showed me that we need to bounce back on track. So anyway, we did, we did. We went ahead and got the Chinese, which that's that. It's over. It's done with. So I want to make try to make some egg salad. Uh, Tom, can you shove that over here? I've had this Pampered Chef thing for a long time. Haven't even used it. I, I think I washed it and then stuck it back in the box because I wasn't sure how I was going to use it. I actually thought about even doing a live video and giving it away. But I'm going through all my stuff, okay? But today is about eggs. My husband wants some deviled eggs. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, how I boil my eggs, okay? Um, I put eggs in cold in the pan. And I turn the water on and let it get hot, and I boil them for about eight minutes. And then I shut the, the uh, burner off, and I put the lid on the pan and just let them set for a while and let them finish kind of cooking in there. And then what I do is I put them in a Tupperware bowl. I drain them and put a little bit of water in the Tupperware bowl which you can steam eggs in the Tupperware thing, but, you know, my steamer was back there, so back in the back. So I take them, do this, you know, and I bounce them up and down about three, four times, okay, in that cold water. Okay, now, what it does, I can't stand the smell of eggs. It cracks them all up, see? Now you want to take your little end, the little pointy end, and it just comes right off, okay? No use trying to pick and pick and pick when you can do this. So I'm going to put them, this little bowl Rebecca White told me I could keep when she brought the mushrooms in it. And I love it. I just so love it. And I think it was because it was a love gift. It was a kind gift from somebody. So I'm going to put the eggs in here for the time being. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. So we'll put the eggs down here beside me.
Oh, Regina, yes, yes. I've been wanting to buy some brown eggs for a while. I like the fresh eggs better. So you just kind of take the little in there, and it'll take that little membrane inside. And that's how you get it, because if you don't get that, you're going to have some troubles. Now, I'm not going to probably do all these perfect, but you just put it back down in that water, and when that water gets underneath your shell, because you cracked it. See, there's that little membrane right there. See it? That's what you want to get under. See how that just come off after I got under that? So we're doing good here. I spent the day in Lancaster yesterday and with my daughter and granddaughter and my mother. And uh, sluggy today, sluggy. So there's another one. And see, it just kind of cracks them up when you do that. Thank you, Regina. That's something I always use is eggs. I can't be without eggs. If I if I run out of eggs, I'm going to buy them four or five more dozen. You know, it just... Because I eat two scrambled eggs every morning. Every morning without toast or anything. Just two scrambled eggs. I put a little bit of water, like a teaspoon, not even a teaspoon of water. Makes them real fluffy. And that's what I have with a little thing of grape juice or something like that. Or hot tea. It keeps me until lunch, you know. But I love eggs. So there's another one. See, they're doing pretty good so far. So I'm going to make him some um, a custard pie. Now, I want to tell you guys something. something. There's another one just slid right off. These, my mom is always trying to put sweets and all that down me. You know, she can see that I don't need them, okay? She can see that plainly. But mom, even when I got in trouble when I was little, my mother would take me to Todd's Mountain View and feed me while we talked my problem over. So I realized that food had become my comfort zone. Anyway, I still love it, and it still comforts me. Don't get me wrong. But this, she she sent these, when I left yesterday, I went and got my mom a couple things of them, cream horns, you know, a couple packs of them. And my daughter ran them back in. Now, while we was there, I told my mom, she said, I'm going to send you a couple peach pies. I said, no, mom, please, we cannot eat them peach pies. We can't, we just don't want, I don't want them in the house. Well, then... She wanted to give us, like, ice cream, like Kroger Wheels ice cream to eat on the way home. I said, no, I don't want them. And um, so when Mary Lou, my daughter, comes back out to the car, she has two peach pies. She got Tom some orange slices and um, them three of them pinwheel ice cream bars, ice cream sandwiches. And I went. And mom went at the door, and Mary Lou went like that. She didn't know what to do, because I'm going, no, and mom's going. So she comes in the car, and she says, there's three of these. One's for uh, Miss Rain, one is for you, and one is for me. And I said, I told mom, she's going to have her way. That's why she sent them. And I'm saying this in a loving way. So I said, give it here. So, we, on the way down, I was eating out ice cream, you know, and I hadn't had any for, I eat sherbet once in a while, but boy, it was good. But, um, time I got done eating that and got down the road, I said, see, now, Mary Lou, I'm hungry again, because of all the stuff in that's making me hungry again. It's feeding fuel into my flesh. So, she ate hers, and the baby just went around hers with the finger, you know, and took all, some of the ice cream. Hands it to her mom and says, Mama, you have to eat this. I'm full. So there's three ice cream bars or sandwiches consumed. 
So I get up today and I forgot about these pies. And I thought I'll look on the back and I'll prove a point to Tom. Because mom said, oh, it's not going to hurt him to eat a little pie. Well, if it's homemade, yeah, it's not going to hurt him to eat a piece of pie. But this is processed. And on the back, calories per serving, 390 calories. Okay, right down here, the sodium is 450 milligrams for the sodium for this little peach pie. And I showed him, I said, Tom, this is why I don't want you to have these. Because there's a lot of hidden sodium in sweet things. People eat sweets and they think it doesn't have a lot of salt in it. It's sweet. Well, wrong. It's got probably more. How many sugars has it got? Uh, well, see, it's got more, it has more, um, it's got more sodium. Now go figure. But anyway, these will be going to someone else. Mother, I love you, but I've got to stay on track. After I read them, I thought I didn't want them. So she she loves us and she's so sweet and wants to feed us and all the time and the baby uh, when she left my mother's house she had one of them little gift bags full of chocolate because my mom loves chocolate my mom's never had diabetes and never even come close to it and she's ninety she eats chocolate a lot she said that's what keeps her young and she told Rain that Miss J C Rain. She said, chocolate is what keeps us gals young and, and fruitful. You know, like we can bounce around and get things done. Well, I didn't stop and buy me a bunch of chocolate, but it sure sounded like a good thing to do. But you see, I'm not trying to tell, I'm just telling my story that I have to watch him because of the emphysema and the congestive heart failure. Because once you get it, and you go in a hospital with it, you know if you don't watch it, you're going to be right back in there. And so I'm trying to be lenient, but not, you know. So there's another perfect one. So I wanted to do these <laughs> deviled eggs for him. Now, um, he's going to eat a light supper, a lighter supper. But he wants some deviled eggs. So he's going to have deviled eggs and cauliflower. He likes it raw with um, another one. He likes it raw with like a little bit of a low sodium ranch dip. So, you know, if you would do your eggs this way, you wouldn't. For years, I tried all kinds of different ways and this is the way to do it. And actually, you know, I learned it off of Tupperware. Tupperware teaches you a lot of good stuff. It's not just buy off of me. But it, it teaches you techniques as you, you get stuff. And this is one of the techniques I learned uh, of the multi-cooker thing with the steam. Uh, with the steam tray in it, you just put your eggs in there and the water in the bottom. And for each egg, you do a minute. So then you shake it up. But I didn't do them that way because my steamer's back there. But I learned the technique from Tupperware. Another perfect one. And I think of the years that I spent trying to pull, push them and getting them down on my fingernails and everything else. Right, Christine, and she only means well. I love her to pieces. If we don't, if we don't stick to this, I told him day before yesterday. He he was getting a little testy, you know. 
because Tom's always used to eating whatever he wants, whenever he wants, and what, you know, big amounts. But I looked at him and I said, listen, I'm going to say this to you really nice. I love you. And I want you to be around as long as you can be around. So that's why I love you so much that I'm going to do this with you. Lord knows I need it, but I'm going to do it with you so that you can do it because I'm doing the cooking and it's up to me to make sure you get the right thing. And I told him, I said, you just got to understand that the doctor said June, in June, you was going to start being able to do some stuff. And I said, you're already trying to do all this stuff. And, you know, so, you know, it's up to me to do it with him and make sure. My hands are shaking now. Let's see, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 14. I'm going to leave two of them in here which I've already cracked them, but because I've got one, uh, my Tupperware, and I do have another one of these that I will be getting rid of. Um, it's pink. It's hot pink. And it's got pink little thingy-wingies in it. And then it's got a lid. Now, these lids, you want to run them under hot water and get them flimsy, and once they, once you get them on there, because I had trouble getting it on, and that's another thing I learned from Tupperware, is you put them on, and you, you run it under hot water, and the first time it comes on, it'll do the rest of the time, so let me get a knife real quick, I got it in the legs today, everybody, And I want you to know, I didn't have trouble as much with my legs at all. I was walking good, balanced good. When I eat all that sodium, and I know Chinese food's full of sodium. When I ate it this morning, I woke up and my legs was just stiff and hurting. So, that's another reason. Now, we're going to take... And do our, I'm going to put my yolk, let me take these eggs out. I'm going to put my yolk in the little bowl that Rebecca gave me. She said, this is just a nice little old bowl. You can have it if you want it. And I'm like, nice little bowl, I love it. I love it so much that I put it over there in front of my ricer, my, my uh, rice maker. And I sit my knives in it at night like that. And leave them sit in there. Okay, now we're just going to cut them down. You know how to do them. We're just having a good time while we're doing them, okay? Put that in there. It makes it fun when you have, like, stuff like Tupperware to do things. It kind of gives, I don't know about you women, but it kind of gives me a more fun time making things. You know, if I had to just make deviled eggs and put them on a little plate and have them sliding around. I don't know how well I'd like that. And, you know, you can buy, uh, you can buy these egg things probably for a buck or two, you know, in these little dollar stores. <clears throat> but I like this one because it's Tupperware. It's going to last me. And I like the color. Color means a lot to me. I like colors. So, we're putting them in there. Got a prayer request. One of my friends in Kentucky needs prayer. Okay. What I do, whether anybody really cares or not, and I love everybody. I'm going to stop right now before I forget. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you and we pray for my friend. I won't speak her name, and you know her name. And Lord, I pray, God, that whatever is ailing her and bothering her, that would send her to the hospital. God, that you would touch her, touch her body and heal whatever it is that's causing her to be sick and feeling very bad. Lord, as they do blood tests, let them come back normal. And Lord, I'm just asking. And Lord, I just thank you and ahead of time that you're doing this for her. Because you said in your word, if you ask not, you receive not. So I ask, and now we will receive that good report. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Sometimes, you know, if I go about the day, I forget. And when somebody asks, I want to do it right away. It's just a technique, you know, because it's stronger on my mind then. See, that's 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Oh, these are bigger. Tupperware has 16 instead of, wait, 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 14, 16. Oh, okay, well, I didn't do enough eggs, I don't think, so I didn't know that. Why didn't I know that? I know why I didn't know that, because my husband usually does the eggs all the time. He does them for our grandchildren. So, you know, you guys, if you like these videos, like them and share them so that more people can get on and see what we're doing here in MacArthur, Ohio. MacArthur, Ohio. Oh, yeah, I did enough. 16 of them. It does 16. I'll hold 16 of them. Tom usually does the eggs because the grandkids like it when he does eggs. So, Mammal's doing eggs for Papaw now. So, I'm just going to take and just... Always use I always use a fork. I probably got other stuff in there I could be using, but you know, some of us like our older techniques of things. If they work, if they don't, then we try a new one. I like to get them really crunched up good there. I don't like big pieces of eggs in it. I see people do so many different fancy things that are cute. We've been getting telemarketer calls all day. It gets to, and usually if I get them all day like that, I'll, I'll call people that usually calls me, like Mary Walters or somebody calls me every day, and I'll call her and say, did you try to call me? <laughs> Actually, I love the telemarketer things where the guy is on YouTube. I think my son showed me, and he, he gives them a long, hard time. Keeps interrupting them with things, and I don't have time to think about that. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even know what to say. Okay. That looks like it's pretty done up there. Let me see here. Oh, boy. That thing needs... It needs... Uh, Recharged. Oh, whoops, I'm flicking it everywhere. Did you see that? That's what's good about my old cooking shows, is I just flick it everywhere. Okay, now we got this. Now I just messed that pretty little dish all up. 
So that's what he wants is deviled eggs. Now, Mary Walters, a lady that I used to take care of all the time, and I'm we're still good friends, and uh, she <laughs> she calls them angel eggs. Oh, they're good, Christine. I'm not real big on them, but he, he likes them. I think, let's see, this has got... Where's it at? 95 milligrams of sodium for one tablespoon. So that's not really too bad. I'll try with the tablespoon and a half to begin with. I don't really don't need that much of the may mayo. I shouldn't even put that much in because now when I make them, I like them kind of mustardy, mustardy tasting. And another thing, one time I did not have any mayo in the house whatsoever. And I had company coming and I already had the eggs in the, in a dish ready to do and I, I panicked so what I do I got into my refrigerator and I got some ranch out and I done it with ranch and they really loved it said what'd you do to these and I put a little parsley over it since you're using ranch and um, I said I didn't have mayo it was a mistake and it turned out to be good now mustard I put about that much in. That's probably a teaspoon and a half of mustard. I'll give it a taste test. And then I'll have gas the rest of the day. These gas me up something horrible. But our grandkids, it was always me make the noodles and Papa will make the deviled eggs when we had dinners. And, you know, he, when Tom makes deviled eggs, he really, he could do a good show. I might have him to do a show sometime when he gets a feeling up to it. Because he'll take a fork. Let me take a taste of this. Let's see. Need a little taste. Needs just a little bit more mustard. Now I'm making these, so if he had it, he probably wouldn't have that much. And by the way, if you're ever have leg cramps. Now I can't double dip that, so I can finger it. Perfect. But Tom will take an egg and he'll take the fork and he'll, I'll just give you an example of what he does. He'll put it in there and he'll just do that and do that. And that's what he does. He takes real good, and I'm tearing this up. He don't tear them up. But he'll put more in it, but he'll take that, that fork and just keep doing it gently. So now, now that we have this, let's, what did I do with it? There it is. Let's get this machine out. I don't have a name on it. He didn't name it. Okay. Don't know what I'm doing. That has to go inside something. There it is. No, that ain't it. There it is. I knew it was all there. That goes... 
Wait a minute. Let me put the stuff in it first. Okay. We're going to put the egg in this, and we're going to try to do something. <clears throat> I take a piece of that egg and it's in my throat. this in there. Oh, it's going to be fun to clean, I know. But I don't mind cleaning up things, you know, because if you get to play with them, you need to clean your toys up. That's what we tell our kids, isn't it? If you make a mess, you need to clean that mess. The baby, she wanted to come over the other day, and she wanted her mom to leave, and she dumped probably close to 100 crayons. I bought one of them great big things of them in a square thing and she dumped them on the floor just to be acting silly i said pick them up honey papa will trip on roll on them and fall she said no i don't feel like picking them up i said well i could pick my phone up i said well do i need to call your mom come get you and clean them up she's oh no no i'll pick them up grandma i don't want mommy to come <laughs> she loves her mommy to death but she loves it here so she picked every one of them up and I would have called her mom to come and pick them up. I wasn't just joking her like some people do. I don't do one, two, three, and three and a half, and four, and four and a half. I never believed in that. You can ask my kids. I never counted, ever. Okay, now. Make sure this is in right. I got my gun. Shouldn't say that on here, but now you just put that on there. You can do um, cookies. You can do um, just about everything, I guess. Okay, let's do this. Now I'm going to have to get the air out of there. Hey, not bad. Take your gun. There's your, isn't that cute? There's all your egg stuff. Well, now, how do I use it, though? This way? Yeah. I'm not good at it, but we'll try it. Never was good at stuff like this. I just took a spoon put them in there. <laughs> I'm pressing down on the wrong thing is what I'm doing. Well, Pam, I got to learn how to use it first. Oh, must have hit a hard spot there. Oh, it's air. Maybe by the last one. You're supposed to hold this some way, and I'm left-handed, so it's really hard to hold it with my... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's easier than I thought. You push down on this thing right here, and I'm trying to push them both down. See? See that? Ah, how easy is that, Pam? So that must make this thing here come down. Now what? I bet it's got another big air pocket in it or something. Ah, mess. That's why the Lord never gave me the Blessing of decoration. Gonna have to practice a lot. I think what it is 
is them bigger pieces doesn't want to come through. If you had icing, it would. Let me see what other things we got here. Maybe a bigger, a bigger, the bigger. I'll try it. That one's a little tiny one for certain decorations. Don't want to waste that goodness there. So, you know, I'm just doing this for the first time. <laughs> so I have no clue what I'm doing. I thought we could have fun. Put the bigger one in. Watch Pam make all her mistakes today. Now we'll see what it does. I had the I, I believe I had the wrong thing in because the bigger chunks wouldn't go through that little tiny center. Now let's try this again. Whoa. How's that? Woo! That is something else. Who'd have thought that, well, you guys all know, but I wouldn't have. So that's going on there good. I just hope I have enough juice. We'll fill them all a little bit, and so I'll have enough. If I have any left over, then I'll go back. Woo. Just about out. Okay, now I'll go back and we'll redo. What we have left. That is cute. And I've had this thing for years. Looked at it and walked by it. Pamela, how could you do that? There's a little bit left here, so I'll just throw it in somewhere. It doesn't matter. I'm not got them in a contest or anything. We're going to eat them ourselves. And if any of the grandkids see, they can come down and see that Grandma can make them too. Okay, I've made him for years, but he's, I always let him do it. It's good to have a husband that'll cook or do something, you know, like in the kitchen with you. Okay, so outside of my mess, okay, outside of my mess and learning, the learning process of this, this is what your eggs look like with a, that pampered chef thing. Next time, <laughs> I'll know which one to use. And you know, this one's kind of out of place a little bit. So i tell you what I'm going to do. There's the prettier ones. I'm going to, I keep getting in that. I'm going to eat this one. Mm. It is delicious. I'm glad he wanted deviled eggs. So there's deviled eggs. And like I said, for supper, he wants... um the deviled eggs. He wants some raw cauliflower. He always eats it raw. He never eats it steamed or anything. And he wants um, a 
tomato sandwich. But guess what he wants it on? He wants it on the oat raisin bread that my daughter-in-law picked up. Yes, it's a little weird. But it's the kind he can eat. So he'll have a tomato sandwich. He will have deviled eggs and some cauliflower and some kind of fruit. That way, when he goes to bed, it's lighter on his stomach. So we'll put the lid on this. Let them chill out a little bit in the, uh, the fridge. Clean up my mess. Thank you, Fiona. Thank you, Rebecca. Christine, it is, isn't it? I've had it for a long time. I can't tell you how many years that's been in my pantry. I, I remember taking it out of the box, and I washed it and was going to use it for icing or something, and I decided not to. But after I figured it out with you you all, I, I didn't even know what I was going to, what, how to use it at all. It looked too complicated for me. And I'm finding out that about life, that sometimes things look so complicated and they're not really. You just got to figure it out and how to go forward. So many times we want to back off or, or, you know, like that piece of machinery right there. And Fiona, I need a name for this. Oh, I stuck it down the water. A name for this. It doesn't have a name. It just says Pampered Chef. But anyway, it's a gadget that's usable in my house now. And I do think I have something like it, too, in a box somewhere. But that, you know, that is about... Um, see what you're saying here yes yeah <laughs> that's funny than spooning it uh, right I mean you can break the eggs and everything else this way you can have them sitting there and ready to put that in So, you know, our life gets complicated at times, and but you always got to look forward to that better day when things, when it's different, you know. Things are different, and you're looking forward to, and you have that hope and stuff. And yesterday, my daughter and I, after we left Lancaster, I told Miss Rain, J.C., that I was going to take her and buy her a toy. She was so good at grandma's, great-grandmother's, and she, mom, just had so much joy with her. And she went all over mom's house just lightly looking at all her kitty statues. All, my mom has lots of them. She said, ma'am all, great-grandmother's bathroom has all kinds of kitties sitting up in the window sill and Mom gave her one of them, and uh, on the way home, see, Mom's cat passed away several years back, more than several, and Mom told her, she said, I used to have a kitty, but it died. Well, when she got home, she told her sister and her boyfriend, she said, sister's boyfriend, she said, Great-grandmother has all kinds of kitties in her bathroom and all over her house, and she had a live one, and it killed. <laughs> I said, it killed? Mary Lou said, that's how she says someone dies, is they, it killed. So, anyway. Yeah. 
I, I think, you know, I could have been using this on my big sugar cookies I used to sell. I make, I have a recipe for, <clears throat> and it's on YouTube, I think, or on my, where I made them, and I showed people how to make them. This elderly lady, my son, or my husband, growed up with her children. And, of course, I was only like 16 when I met Tom, and he took me up to meet her, and and uh, he went to do something, and I just sat there. You know, I love, absolutely love sitting with older people because I learn so much. And I love to hear them talk about when they were younger and, and what they, you know, just things like that. And even learn new recipes from them. Well, this, this lady, her name was Mrs. Ballard. And she she let me sit there and watch her make these great big sugar cookies and the story is that she used to make these big flying i call them flying saucers gigantic sugar cookies and she'd lay them out for the neighbor kids and they'd come in and eat and tom he he hit he, he was friends with all of them so he would he was telling me about them well she made them and she gave me the recipe and she said now keep this recipe in your head because she showed me she didn't really um, measure things. She said, take a big spoon of this and, and whatever. But we sat down and figured it out. And um, I made them cookies for years. And everybody loved them. And I'd icing them. And I would take them down to the lot where we had auctions. <clears throat> we'd st sell stuff through the week. And then put it in our trunk, and then we'd go open our trunk, and whoever won that item, they paid you, and they took that item. It was a good way to get rid of <coughs> that egg. Good way to get rid of that stuff out of your house, you know. But then when you go to buying more than you sell, you need to stop. But I would take them down and... Uh, as soon as I opened my trunk with a box of them cookies, people came. I sold them a dollar a piece. One dollar a piece, the most easiest ingredients you'd ever use. You could have, it's staple. Cookies are staple material. You don't have to go buy nothing else. So pretty soon after that, one of the women came walking over and she said, I love the icing on that cake. Well, Miss Ballard taught me how to make the icing too. And uh, there's a little something you put in it that makes it just taste real good. If Barb Martin sees this, she'll know what that little something is because she taught me that too. And uh, she said, could you make me just a tub of that icing? Nothing else. She said, I love the cookies and I eat the cookies. But I'd like to have me a spoon and a little tub of that icing to eat on. I said, yeah, I'll, I'll bring you a tub of icing. So I took her a tub of icing, and then someone else wanted a tub of icing. So finally, I just quit. I quit making them because it was with my busy schedule that I had. It was hard for me to do all the auction stuff plus make cookies. And another thing I used to do is take uh, biscuits, like canned biscuits, and roll them out and throw them in some hot grease. And then when I take them out of the hot grease, while they're still hot, I put them on a paper towel. And then I take the hot, the hot, um, oh, what elephant ear type thing, you know, because I rolled them out and put it in cinnamon sugar. And them, I mean, as soon as I got there, them was gone. So anyway, I mean, there's stuff you can do cheap and people will buy it, you know, and you don't have to put a great big price on it. The cookie was so big, it was worth one dollar. I mean, with the icing and all that I had on it. So, I can't, I don't know why I can't see that. Yeah, Vicki, you got some cute ones too. So, I'll have her next week. Her, uh, our, our oldest granddaughter, our, Tom and I's oldest She's leaving Friday, and she's going to be four days in training. 
and then leaving for two weeks for the National Guard. So she just got back working full time and everything, and then they called her out. You never know when they're going to call you out. You never know. You just got to be ready. And it doesn't matter if you have a job or whatever. I mean, your life pretty well belongs to them. So she's going to be leaving for two weeks. And then when she comes back, uh, while we're on vacation, the family this year, she's got to leave early and go out for two more weeks. So they're training them people. They're out there training them National Guards to do certain things. And so, I mean, I, I know she's probably bummed about it because she has a fiancé and and all that. And they're going to be away from each other for two weeks. So, you know, I'll have Miss Rain next week, all week. And then my other granddaughter that done the live with me, she's going to um, away. And then she'll have her the next week. So I'll probably do some lives with her is what I'm getting at. And I'll quit rambling. Anyway, God bless you all. I love every one of you. And, you know, I, I really truly mean that. God bless every one of you. May your house be filled with the spirit of the living God and, and just be full of life and blessings. So, let's see what you're saying here. Oh, okay. Let me see what I need to read these. Whoopie daisy. There's my, all my stuff over there. I turned you around. I'm going through a lot of stuff. Um, what name did she say for you? And I can't see it on here. What's wrong with me? Joy, Miss Joy, okay, you know, Miss Joy could sure put a lot of pressure on something, <laughs> right? So we will name her Miss Joy, since she's a miss, she could put pressure on people. So this is a good little gadget. You know, I don't sell Pampered Chef, and I'll look on Tupperware and see if they got anything like this, um, because you know me, if it's Tupperware, I'd rather have that, but... A lot of people sell Pampered Chef, and this is old, old. It's new, but it's old, so I don't know if they have something new or or what. But uh, remember how to do your eggs, because you want to have perfect eggs every time. So God bless you. I'll get off of here. I, I'm still in there looking through Tupperware stuff. Um, lots of stuff. So God bless you. I love you. Have a great day. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie.